Hi, welcome to Kairos House. Uh, today we've got for you uh, the Yolio R6 Aero Disc. This is this final um, incarnation. Um, exactly how I want it. So I'm just going to take you through um, some bits that I may have added or you may not have seen before. So we're going to start off with um, my new Garmin mount. Um, bought from eBay. It's an Edge 820, but um, it can probably take a thousand or a 520 or anything. So basically, it's this unit here, and um, it screws in uh, to the stem. It's got some spacers here. I thought I'd have a problem getting round uh, my funny. Uh, stem because it's not got a f flat front edge, it's rounded, but these spaces uh, do the trick and um, it just bolts in through the lower set of bolts, sticks right out so we get a nice, when well, I just put that on, so we get a nice um, Garmin mount there. Um, got it from eBay, probably I can't remember how much it was, a 10 or something, somewhere around there. Um, there was some comments that the bolts were too long and people were complaining. Um, the bolts are too long, so I thought, oh well, I'll test it. And yes, they are a bit long, probably three mil too long. So I bonged them in my vise, cut off about eight mil of the bolt and then chucked them back in. Um, and they're perfect. So that is... Uh, nice just to make it look a bit more like the Venge look that I was going for and we've also slammed the stem right down um, the angled space in there works perfectly uh, so the drop between the handlebar and the saddle is quite a lot now the most I've ever had but also the most comfortable I've ever been um, it may be just because of my sit bones are a bit weird, but it seems that if I'm more upright, I get a lot of pain, but because I'm now angled much more forward, it um, relieves the pain like considerably. Um, what else have we done? So we've had the cable shortened. Um, so that's now what it looks like cable wise. Um, front and rear with the DI2 included. And what I've done, he didn't shorten the front uh, brake cable enough at the shop, so I've just shoved it inside the handlebar a bit more. Um, it's probably running kind of like that now. There's a big kink in it, but it's not a kink, it's a curve. Because that kink in that cable is a bit uh, hard. And also what I've done is the hoods. Um, what I did is I undid the bolt and I wiggled them and just slided them up. Slided, is that a word? I slid them up the handlebar a little bit more so that I'm not uh, reaching as far down. Just um, makes it a bit more comfortable for me personally. It might not for you. Uh, bell, because um, you got a bell over here, it's the law. I'm sure not many people have them and I've not ever heard of anyone being stopped for no bell and fined, but I thought I'd just put one on. I mean, it's left over from my old bike. It's not in the way, um, you know, it's cool. Uh, pressures in the tires, I probably run them about 85. Just find it more comfortable. Um, Trying to think of anything else I've done to it. Let's have a look. Uh, nope. I haven't done anything else. I bled the brakes myself, which was um, reasonably easy. Just bought the pot for the for the uh, um, bleed up here, and then I bled it through there, both ways. Uh, not as spongy now. Which is cool. Um, 
disc brakes are bedding in nicely into the back one, bedding in nicely. Had to move the uh, limit screw on the rear uh, derailleur just so I could get into that 32 tooth cog. For some reason, it was hitting the stop, which is a bit weird because it's an 11 speed. It never hit the stop when I was, when I was running a 28, but for some reason it hit the stop on the 32. Um, so still using the, um, we'll come to that in a minute. Uh, still using the synchro uh, gear shift, absolutely perfect. I only ever use my right side uh, shifter now. The left one, don't only use it for braking and don't use it for shifting the uh, front neck. Just use the right one with the synchro shift, works perfectly. Um, as you can see, that's nice and clean still. Bit of wear. Um, with the new mix of the of the wax, putting more wax into it, um, it's uh, going much better. Uh, I was looking at molten speed wax the other day, just to see um, what that's like. But it's so expensive to buy. I'll just continue making my own. It's not a drama to take the chain off. You know, every few rides, clean it up, wax it again. It's not a problem at all. Um, so, that um, is pretty much how we're looking. Nice venge look off the front with the bars. Yeah, liking that. So, that is the look at my bike. Now, I'm going to come to this stuff. I've shown you this stuff before in one of my videos. Um, and this cable wrap. See it? It, uh, it stretches and breaks. So what I've done is I've just wrapped when I can slot it in. I've just wrapped this. So I've got the original clip. Um, where is it? There. The original clip. And then I've just wrapped this. It's not tight. I didn't want it too tight, and then I've got the original clip uh, just in there that just keeps it together. What I could do is put a new piece and just make the wraps a bit tighter, but um, at the moment that's fine. So, finished bike 8.240. Um, sorry, not 8.240. Well, that's exact. It's 8,240 grams. So just over 8.2 kilos. Um, still loving it. Most comfortable bike I've had and I've, well, road bike. I had some road bikes when I was young, like rally team bananas or something. But um, much more comfortable than my Roubaix. Um, maybe because of the angle, because I'm further forward now and not upright. So I don't get that pain on my sit bones, but um, the most comfortable bike I've ridden, and I'm still riding it. You know, I'm 44 this year, so, and that's a pretty extreme angle to be at. Yeah, it looks worse in, on the camera in real life, but hey. So, uh, that's just um, an update for you. Bike is exactly how I want it, and loving it. So, take care everyone, we'll see you soon, thumbs up if you like, subscribe, and uh, we'll start doing something else. See you later, thanks for watching, bye!